Hello and welcome to AmainHobbies.com. I'm Gregor McGrath, and today on RC Talk, today we're going to cover the basics of fixed endpoint setup for the Castle Ice HB Edition speed controls for helicopters using the Castle Link software. When installing a new Castle ESC into your helicopter, you're going to have to go through the fixed endpoint setup. And in this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how to accomplish this. Now, in order to set up the fixed endpoints of your ESC, you will need a CastleLink USB programmer adapter and CastleLink software installed on your computer. Once you have the CastleLink software pulled up on your computer, you'll want to plug in the CastleLink into the receiver lead of the ESC and then apply power to the ESC via your flight pack. Now, refer to the connection status at the lower left portion of the program window to confirm the CastleLink software has recognized your ESC type. Now, I've noticed with the Ice HB edition of Speed Controls that the ESC will default to airplane mode. Now, since we're setting this up for helicopter, we will want to go to the top of the screen to throttle, then select vehicle type, click the drop down arrow, and select helicopter. Now, once you have selected helicopter, you will want to save the setting by hitting the Update tab on the lower right-hand corner of the CastleLink screen. Now this is very important. Anytime you make a change within the software, you must hit the Update tab or your changes will not be saved. Now since we are using a fixed endpoint throttle curve, this will complete the basic setup of the ESC. Now we're going to calibrate the throttle endpoints. What I like to do first is remove the main blades of the helicopter. This is a safety precaution and should always be done. Then I will slightly raise the throttle to see if the direction of the motor is spinning correctly. If the motor is spinning correctly, you should see the main rotor start to spin. If the motor is spinning backwards, simply reverse any two of the motor wires. You can also reverse the motor direction within the CastleLink software under the Motor tab, but don't forget to hit the Update tab when finished. I will now get into the radio's travel adjustment or endpoint adjustment and reduce the high and low throttle curves to 60%. Next I will make sure my throttle trim is in the full down position. Also make sure the throttle curve is in normal mode or is linear, the value should read 0, 50, 100. Raise the throttle to the high stick position and plug in the batteries to the ESC. You will now hear the first tones of the ESC counting the cells. Once the count has finished, Slowly start to increase the endpoint until you hear the first tone. This is letting you know that the ESC has recognized the high stick position. Now lower the throttle stick all the way down and you will hear another tone. Then start to increase the endpoints until you hear a final tone. Your Ice HB speed control is now set up and ready to fly. Now the CastleLink software makes it really easy to set up your speed control. I hope this video might help guide you through the process. Thank you for joining us today on RC Talk. And if you have any more questions about the products or video shown today, please don't hesitate to give us a call, chat, or email, and we'd be happy to answer them. AmainHobbies.com. Visit us for our huge selection. Buy from us for our expert customer service, fast shipping, and low prices. AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop international RC superstore.